Our intent to defeating the stigmas that afflict us all, our First Lady, Shirlane McRae. Good evening, New York. Good evening, family. Thank you all for standing in solidarity with Orlando. Less than a year ago, many of us marched past this very spot as loud and as proud as we've ever been. Gay marriage was finally legal in all 50 states. Love, love had won a resounding victory. And the movement that began in part right here had changed the world forever and for the better. Now that day seems very far away right now because today our thoughts are with Orlando and everyone who lost their lives at Pulse, yet another LGBTQ haven that will enter the history books as a terrible, as a site of terrible, terrible violence. The killer alone bears the ultimate responsibility for his heinous act. But make no mistake about it, Omar Mateen had many enablers. He was enabled by a gun industry that values profits more than people. who are beholden to their blood-stained dollars. He was enabled by terrorists who claim to represent a noble religion, when in fact they are nothing but hateful nihilists. And while we will never know for certain exactly what he was thinking, it is possible that Omar Mateen was enabled by a society that too often ignores mental illness until it's far too late. In honor of those we have lost, we must channel our anger at the killer and his enablers into action. We must show the gun beholden lawmakers that they have two options. Get on the right side of history or get pushed aside. Their argument that easy access to guns is keeping our children and families safe has been proven false. Tragically and definitively false because no one is safe unless we are all safe. We must show the terrorists that every act of violence only binds us closer to our Muslim brothers and sisters who know better than anyone that true Islam is a religion of peace. struggling can find help before their illness becomes all-consuming. We must pass the Mental Health Reform Act of 2016. And on, 20, on June 26, when we march past Stonewall, we must again raise our voices loud and clear. We must hold our friends and allies tighter and closer than ever. With a righteous joy, because this movement was founded on love, and we will not stop dancing, we will not stop demonstrating, we will not stop demanding change until everyone and every love is safe. devoted his life to keeping us safe and is making New York City safer, our police commissioner, Bill Bratton. Kennedy told the 
proud of Indianapolis nearly 50 years ago. Just hours after the assassination, what we need in the United States is not division. What we need in the United States is not hatred. What we need in the United States is not violence and lawlessness, but love and wisdom and compassion toward one another and a feeling of justice for those who still suffer within our country. People can be killed for what they stand for, for their values, their conviction, their principles, and our. So as we reflect on the lives of violence yesterday in Orlando. We are going to say every victim's name and I urge you to keep your lights up. Keep your lights up all the way to 7th Avenue and please hold your applause till the end. We want to remember the victims. Thank you. Edward Sotomayor Jr. 34 years old. Rodolfo Ayala Ayala, 33 years old. Forty years ago, I created a project called Free to Be You and Me. And I'm so saddened to see that we still are not free to be you and me. Luis Omar Ocasio Capo, 20 years old. Yilmarie Rodriguez Sullivan, 24 years old. Stanley Almodavar III, 23 years old. Brenda Lee Marquez McCool, 49 years old. Juan Ramon Guerrero, 22 years old. Christopher Andrew Lenonen, 32 years old. Eric Ivan Ortiz Rivera, 36 years old. Angel Candelario Padro. 28 years old. Peter O. Gonzalez Cruz, 22 years old. Frank Hernandez, 27 years old. Paul Terrell Hunter, 41. 
one years old. Luis S. Vielma, 22 years old. Kimberly Morris, 37 years old. Antonio Davon Brown, 29 years old. Eddie Demoldre Justice, 30 years old. Christopher Joseph San Felice, 24 years old. Akira Mune Murray, 18 years old. Daryl Roman Burt II, 29 years old. Dianca Deidre Drayton, 32 years old. 